EastEnders fans will be concerned for some of the residents of Albert Square as Matt D'Angelo is back in the show reprising his role as Dean Wicks. The 36-year-old actor first appeared on the long-running BBC soap back in 2006 as the great-nephew of Pat Butcher, who took him in when he had nowhere else to go. But Dean caused plenty of trouble in the square, spiking Stacey Slater's drinks with drugs, perverting the course of justice by framing Sean Slater for a crime he didn't commit and viciously raping Linda Carter. Now Dean is back on the soap and likely preparing to cause more trouble. His return has also sparked a frenzy of speculation among EastEnders fans as a flash-forward earlier in the year showed that a character would be killed off on the soap, with Dean now a prime suspect as the victim. But away from the drama and villainy of Albert Square, Matt's life couldn't be more different. He has a loving wife and two kids and has landed roles in a string of other high-profile TV shows. Here, we take a look into his stunning home that he shares with his wife and two children, as well as his life away from the soap. Family life and stunning home Matt has been married to professional wedding planner Sophia Perry since 2021, with a lavish ceremony taking place at the Dorchester Hotel in London. The big day came after Matt proposed during a romantic trip to the Dominican Republic in May 2019, and after they first started dating back in 2014. The loved-up couple are also proud parents to two children, as they welcomed twins in August 2022. The pair were delighted when their son and daughter, Raphael and Daphne, arrived although Matt hinted his wife was taking to parenting with expertise, while he was left grappling with baby utensils. He wrote on Instagram while announcing the arrival of their twins, My beautiful wife at Sophia Perry has had two happy and healthy babies and begun raising them. I'm in the kitchen trying to work out the sterilizer. Welcome to the world Raphael and Daphne. The actor has shared several glimpses into his stunning family home over the years. One snap saw Sophia standing in their sprawling kitchen which was decorated with baby gifts. She posed in front of their huge black kitchen cupboards which glistened as the natural daylight bounced off of them. Elsewhere an indoor house plant was seen just out of shot and it certainly appeared to show that Matt and Sophia were looking after it. Elsewhere, the actor gave an insight into his stunning garden when he and Sophia announced that they would be welcoming their two children. The couple posed under the beaming sunshine as they let off smoke cannons to reveal the gender of their then unborn children. Their beautiful garden was decorated with wooden furniture ensuring that they would be able to make the most of the summer sunshine. However, should they wish to sit in the cooler shade, they had a large parasol on display. North Ender While Matt is famous to millions as villain Dean Wicks in EastEnders, the man behind the character is not from the East End. He is instead from Enfield in North London, where he was born and raised. Matt attended school in Oakwood and then began learning acting and singing at Bowdoin Studios in Enfield. He did not to further his acting skills at London's esteemed Sylvia Young Theatre School, which includes fellow former pupils including Billy Piper, Dua Lipa, Keely Hawes, and Nicholas Holt. His first acting role was in 2000, starring in an episode of the BBC drama Harbour Lights, which starred Nick Berry. Acting up while Matt is arguably best known for playing Dean Wicks on EastEnders, it is far from the only role the actor has held down.
He played Sean Kennedy in the heist-inspired drama series Hustle on the BBC from 2009 until 2012 and also played the historical Italian cardinal and condottiero Francesco Aladosi in the hit European drama Borgia from 2012 until 2014. Matt has also had roles in Casualty and Death in Paradise and also had a lead role in season 2 of the hit show Ordinary Lies. He has also appeared in three low-budget big-screen dramas, Telling Lies in 2008, Following Footsteps in 2010, and a lead role in the 2012 drama Two Days in the Smoke. Reality show fans will also recall Matt was a contestant on Strictly Come Dancing back high 2007. He was paired with Flavia Cacus and they made it all the way to the final but ended up as runners-up, losing to Alicia Dixon and Matthew Cutler. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads. Thank you.